All right, let's talk blocking lace. So it can be a little fussy when you're trying to block something, especially if it's a really big shawl or blanket or a table runner. So you can use a folded up towel on a counter, tape it down, go through all that. You could also use a mattress if you wanted to, or maybe a carpet if it's super padded. But if you have something like these lace block mats, it makes it really easy and portable anywhere. So they come in a square, they kind of look like kids' play mats, but they've got a special top so that your piece doesn't slip around. So you just put as many squares as you want for how big your piece is. All right, so then you're gonna lay your piece out on it. And I have just kind of a small swatch, and it doesn't matter if it's knit or crochet. This happens to be crochet. You're gonna lay it out as you would. Now here, you have choices. So you can use T-pins, we've all used them. They're fine, it's just a little tedious, and sometimes they can cause your blocking to have little lumps in it. So we have a great solution, our friends over at Knitter's Pride if you're in North America, Knit Pro elsewhere, have these great, this great blocking tool that has a bunch of steel pins on it and they don't rust, so it won't, you don't have to worry about getting any stains on your beautiful work. So all you do is you lay stuff out. Now you can do, you can work on a straight edge like this and you just poke them in and it's super easy. But what's also cool is that they work if you have any hanging motifs like this piece because you can just grab the tip of both of them and get them down. So they come with the wider ones but they also come with smaller ones so that if you really, as the pieces get, the um, motifs get closer, you can still work together. So you would just do that all the way around until so that it's either at the measurements or the shape that you want and then just take a plain old spray bottle, spritz it, let it dry. When you're done, your lace piece is going to look beautiful.